a little tricky. That's the hardest part. I can't even explain it to you other than go like this, go like this. All right, now is the easy part because we know how to braid in this direction. <laughs> so just continue, only adding hair to the outside and pulling it as tight as you can. I know my bangs look interesting in front, but the nice thing about bangs is they puff out easily. Next. And we just continue braiding. Down the back of our head. With the usual hand holds. Only adding hair to one side. The outside. I'm hoping you can still see without me turning around because this is one braid I do need a mirror for. Okay, how much we got left? Since we only braid from one side, your hair will actually automatically go in a circle for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, two more. Make sure you, I'm still in frame. And our last piece. Whew. All right. And I know you can probably hear some snapping and breaking. That is my hair. I do not particularly care for um, hairdos that have a tendency to snap and break my hair, which is yet another reason, flip it over your right shoulder, which is yet another reason why I will never do this hairdo again. <laughs> so when you braid, you want to end up braiding over the shoulder of the side you started on so that you've got a round kind of effect going on. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, Torn, that doesn't really look much like a crown braid. That's I don't know what that is. Don't worry, it's all in the finishing. Now, I know, like I said, you've seen sites like Dreamweaver Braiding, which we've all seen, and my gosh, they do some pretty hair. But I argue that that's because somebody has done their hair. They didn't do it themselves. <laughs> because the self-crown braid is difficult since, um, you know, you can't see what you're doing. You don't have somebody there to help hold. Hold this piece out, hold this piece out so I can get, you can't do it. So this is as close to a decent crown braid as I have gotten. And this is gonna be it. Cause I ain't doing no more. Ugh, let me finish up tail end of my braid. Like so. Try to braid down as far as you can um, so you don't have a lot of tail to tuck. That'll work for now. Alrighty. Okay, and this is how we make this mess. I actually look like a crown braid. Pick this up like so, and we wrap it around the top braid, like so. And we have to tuck underneath so we don't see, you know, the tail end. And to secure my Good Days hairpins, because they are 
the bomb diggity yo. And they hold like the devil. These suckers do not come out. They are the bestest thing ever. And you can't see them for the most part, which is also awesome. So you just kind of secure around the perimeter till you feel like. Uh, there we go. Do you feel like you're good and secure? I'm gonna make sure my tail end doesn't stick out on this side. I'm gonna get my mirror and see what it looks like. Not too bad. It's a little floofy right there, but it's actually probably the straightest I've ever gotten it. Hey, go me. Alrighty. Here is your crown braid tutorial. All done. I hope I'm still framed. Ta-da! See? Yay. Crown braid. It won't move, which is nice. Um, but this is it. It's the only tutorial in the crown braid you're getting. Because I hate this hairstyle and I'm done. <laughs> it takes a while. It was a pain in the butt. I'm glad I finally figured it out for the most part. Um, and yay yay so uh that's it for now i will be back uh some point in time with something new and hopefully a lot easier Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen have a good day i will see you next time